Hey guys, it's Renee. So for this, I'm going to be using this black wet brush. I'm sorry if you can see the reflection of all my lights in there. For this, I'm going to be using nail polishes, by the way, just because I want to be able to put this brush like inside, like when I take a bath and stuff. So first I'll use this white nail polish. I do have a review for this one on my nails, by the way, if you want to check it out. But first I'm going to be like sketching all my roses, different sizes of roses all over the place. Just make your pattern as you want your roses to be obviously, but just imagine like how like roses in real life are some of them are bigger some of them are smaller different shapes different everything but this is kind of like this shape that i went for it's like a cloudish shape i guess and i'm going to be painting some lips with the same brush of my nail polish starting off with the white background like the back roses by the way it's just because i'm working over a black background because when i was testing this idea on like a black cardboard i did one without the nail polish the white nail polish and one with and with it like pops a lot more but it's pretty much up to you and it also depends on like the color of your brush obviously but i think with darker colors going with white it'll make your flowers pop a lot more i also changed my mind of like the size of one of my roses i just decided to make this bigger way bigger because i thought it was like way too small and i just it's pretty simple just make just add more nail polish basically and just make it bigger and then i decided to go with like one delicate brush and added some branches from like the leaves to the roses just like in real life and to make this lines like as thin and delicate as possible what worked better for me is just barely touch the brush the more you lean into it the thicker your line is gonna be i'm gonna be painting my leaves with this green and this yellow my green is from finger paints i'm not really sure if they still have this one i bought it like years ago my yellow is this one that's the name of it mine is actually pretty dry because i barely use it but i'm gonna go over like the white first with my green painting all the leaves and then just adding some yellow on top i'm not covering the whole leaf with my yellow adding a little bit and then just going with my brush like this kind of like trying to cover my leaves with my yellow but not really and that is how you can get this effect so for some roses i used purple lilac and this pink but you don't have to use this exact ones just look for a pink and a lilac and purple like this one so first i'm going to be covering the whole rose in purple and then going with my pink with the brush of it first painting kind of like c's around it on the center and then as you work with your way to the edges well this uh, this shape they are not lines and they are not c's and they are like this <laughs> real hard to explain these shapes by the way but hopefully you can get an idea of what i mean by looking at what i'm doing and then before it dries I'm gonna go with the same brush with whatever leftover paint there is on it and barely touching going in circular motions like this then I'm gonna go with my yellow that I used previously adding three dots I don't know what kind of roses these are because like roses in real life don't have like these dots but I like how it looked and this is like inspired mostly for other roses using my same lilac or purple and this blue this blue on its own what I got it it's a lot more vibrant but I never never used it so I added a few drops of black in there so this is why it looks like this but just like a darker blue but yeah pretty much doing the same thing don't go over with the color that you're painting your petals with a lot because this can happen but if this happens don't worry you just take the color of the background and then just work on the details it's not a big deal and then i added my three dots on top i just liked how they looked like this this is my least favorite one but i had to show you like the combination that i did blue and pink not my favorite combo but i just wanted to show you just in case you liked it but yeah this is pretty much it if you have one of those epoxy resins i would just add a coat or two i think with that it's gonna look a lot better and it's gonna bring the sign together almost like printed i don't have that but i love how it looks anyways i think it looks really cute i actually really love it it's like my little piece of art it was so much fun to paint and decorate and hopefully you like it too and it was helpful and handy if you're looking for ideas on how to decorate a brush don't forget to give this video a thumbs up check out more easy diys that have my my channel subscribe for more and share this thank you so much for watching i'll talk to you later and take care bye